Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video I'm going to be giving you a simple and to the point action plan for how to create an exercise routine that will not only give you results but will actually be something you can stick to. <laughs> please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach out to more mums and help them enjoy their motherhood. So in my role as a fitness professional, I focus in on fitness for a general happy, healthy life. If you came to me and wanted to train for a marathon, I would send you elsewhere in the nicest possible way. That is not my area of expertise. I like to help people feel more energized and active just so they can live the life they want to live, be feeling good in the clothes they want to wear, that kind of thing. I'm general life fitness. And I think that's where a lot of people get overwhelmed with these overcomplicated ways of training or doing exercise. And you're told that you've got to do this and got to do that. So today I'm going to break down how you can define the actual exercise routine that's right for you. First of all, I think it's important to get it back to basics. Literally a tick sheet of what you need to include in your exercise routine for a fit and healthy life. Again, this isn't about any kind of extreme. This is the general baseline that we should all be living by. Every day you want to include 30 minutes of exercise or movement. Now this could be also split into two blocks of 15 minutes, but 15 minutes is kind of your minimum for it to have any impact. This could be getting off a couple of bus stops earlier and having a bit of a walk or a walk in the park. Uh, this could be dancing around your kitchen to some songs. This doesn't need to be put on your gym kit and do anything intense. This is about getting the body moving, getting the pulse raised slightly, but not turning you into any kind of sweaty mess. You should be able to do this in your normal clothes and then carry on with your life afterwards. Two days in this week, you want to up this to 45 minutes where you do get sweaty, where it's a little bit more intense, where your pulse rate is raised that little bit more. Depending on your goals will depend on how intense this 45 minutes gets and it will also depend on what kind of exercise you want to do. I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on what exercise is best to do. So make sure you check out this playlist on physical health that will be linked in the description down below. The other thing we should all be including daily for a fit and healthy life is a little bit of stretching. Now, some people prefer this to do this in the morning or in the evening. In an ideal world, I guess you'd do both. But as we're particularly tired as mothers, it's great to do it just before bed because it will improve the quality of your sleep. You will be able to get to bed faster because your body can relax into bed quicker if you've given it a little stretch. Again, doesn't need to be a massive yoga session. I will do this in my pajamas. You could do it once you've got out of the shower and you're air drying. It's not about putting a gym kit on every day to do some exercise and putting a gym kit on every day to do some stretching. This is about just fitting in some movement and some repair time for your body. And even if you've done nothing all day, you've used muscles and they need a little stretch before you relax and get a great night's sleep. If you're struggling to stay motivated to do your sweaty activities for the week, change them up, try something new. Just because a class has come really high, re highly recommended from so-and-so or what's your face down the gym says it's worked wonders for her does not mean it's necessarily going to work for you. It might mean that you do something different. You try a different class every week. If that's the case, then so be it. It's just two 45 minute blocks of you getting sweaty and out of breath. It doesn't matter necessarily what you're doing to get there. Because the idea of signing up to a class can be really intimidating and also the times of classes or the times the gym are open may not fit with your lifestyle, I've created a free four week workout plan that will be linked down below. Click on the link, download it for free and I hope you enjoy it. Maintaining a healthy weight is vital for your health and fitness. But at the risk of being hated by every personal trainer out there, I'm going to let you into a little secret. Exercise will not get you there. Exercise is part of the journey, but it is not the complete journey. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. So you really need to pay paying attention to what you're putting into your body if you want to be happy with how your body looks and feels. We have a whole host of expert advice and support coming your way in this month on physical health. So make sure that you've not only checked out the playlist below, 
but that you download all our free printables to really make the most of these resources. The world is full of variety, so I would love to hear how you like to get sweaty down in the comments below. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood, and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh,